trying to put my put some stuff into my mind that's not like a you know music that's cursing and all of that stuff. Right. And I just been listening to this on a daily basis for like all week. Mm-hmm. And twice this has happened. Um, I had one customer. He was a military guy, and he just started like because nobody like I haven't had nobody done this before, but he just started like asking me about my goals it's like the exact same stuff i've been listening to all week is what he's been like t- he, he started asking me and then telling me some stuff about you know doing this going to school and getting all this stuff so it's kind of like a that was a confirmation i was like that's kind of weird i was just because i was actually just listening to it before i went to his house uh-huh was, like, look at that same. and then again this actually happened yesterday um that was my last customer mm-hmm. and he just happened to be a motivational speaker um, pastor for over 20 years. Wow. And he just, yeah, right. It's just strange, right? Like, he just happened to be, um, because he asked me, he said, are you trying to go to school? Like, so, I, I wow. Know. Yeah, that that's yeah. the stuff that happens when God's saying, yes, 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 do it. And I, I feel like I'm being, I, I already told you before, I feel like I'm starting to go towards that direction now. Like, I actually mm-hmm. have a change of mind now. I'm yeah. About school. Like, I want to go now. I feel like I can do it. Mm-hmm. But, um, he, he started asking me, because he didn't tell me at first he was a motivational speaker. I, just, I, he had, I think he asked me what I wanted to go to school for, and I said, either computers uh, or or uh, being a motivate, you know, um, uh, public relations. And that's yeah. going with the public and motivational speaker. He said, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pastor of 20 years, and I, right now I'm with, I'm at this children's home or something. He said, like, he basically talks to kids and stuff. He's a motivational yeah. speaker. Yeah. So it's kind of like strange. I was like, okay. He started giving me information saying, go and make a Link It account. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a, yeah, Link It. I know, I know what it means. Yeah. yeah. That. He gave me his business card and everything. He said, if I had to meet a connection or something, give him a call. Because it's like he said, not always what you know is who you know. Because yeah. he, he said, if I was if I ever need an intern or something like that or anything like that, just give him a call. It's just strange. So I'm like, wow. Hey, this is what I need to be doing. Yeah, because it's like it's strange. That's beautiful, um, Rashad. So I went to sleep uh, a couple nights ago, and um, I was like, I was going to sleep. I, I went to sleep, and it was like I was dreaming, but I was like I was up, and I just heard all these voices, mm-hmm. and it was saying to me a lullaby. Oh, that is so sweet. No, 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 no fam, no. Huh? That's the thing I was telling you about with those voices. Okay. It was a lot of voices. And it was like they were singing this lullaby, but it was like a, the opposite of a lullaby. It was oh, like, rock about baby, don't you sleep tight. It was like a bunch of voices. Oh gosh, okay, and, okay. And, and what I did was, and what I did was, I got ang- like annoyed, mm-hmm. like really angry, and I just said, "Shut up in the name of Jesus." That's what I said, and the voices stopped. That's right. You did tell me that. Yes. Yeah, you forgot about. I knew you forgot about it. No, you know, no, I, I I forgot the lullaby part. I forgot it yeah. was a lullaby. Yeah. Wow. So, so, so before I even told Pat, Pat, this is how I, I feel like we all are connected through the spirit, like we really are, because I was telling Pat Pat the situation, but before I could even tell her, she said, "What did you do? Did you shut him up?" She used those exact words. And I'm mm-hmm. like, "How did you even?" That's exactly what I said. Shut up. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, it, those are just some you know little testimonies I had experienced. I feel mm-hmm. like I'm missing one. Um, I had a lot of stuff happen this week because I I've really been I, honestly I've been taking my job a lot more serious. Great, getting up getting up early. I, I'm really I, I'm actually glad that experience happened the other day because it's like it. it Making me want to, it's motivating me to get up early, go to work, get my stuff done, mm-hmm. start on the next day, and just get in it. And I'm, and I'm praying that this, this, this testimony is helping someone that's either having issues on the job. Just yep. even if you have an issue, do your best. You know, give it, give it your all. Work as if you're working on to work on, you know, for God or that's you know, right. just a, and just do it, and because you really is you building character and. and and you're getting stronger and stronger. And when you don't feel like doing it, when you don't feel like getting up, that's when you should do it. Because that's that's an opportunity to grow. Because you don't grow if you don't challenge yourself. Right. You oh, you repeat that. You don't what? You, you, you can't grow 
if you don't challenge yourself. That's right. You That's win. an excellent. You're going to be stuck. That's wisdom right the there. Same way. Yes. Yep. And I learned, and that's through listening to all, all those motivations. I, I'm learning a lot from that, but that's one of the key things is, is not challenging yourself and running away from, you know, when you don't, a lot of people are lazy nowadays. They don't want to do things, you know, that they should do that actually grow them or mature them. Mm -hmm. And they wonder why they stay stagnant. Know, they don't stagnant because they're not growing. They're not, right. They're not challenging themselves. So. I'm challenging myself, and I'm definitely, I'm doing things I didn't think I could do at the job now. Look Just at you. Days. Yeah. I've never worked this hard before, like, trying to get stuff done like that. And that, and, that, and that's going to reflect good. They're going to see that. They're going to see, man, he's really taking it serious. And God's going to bless it, because when you work as if you're working for God, he honors it and rewards. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. You know what's really crazy? What? Well, I'm, I think that that is amazing. That is actually the hand of God, like speaking to you and leading you because there's yes. many times I thought it was a coincidence. Like I was just like, wow, that's kind of crazy. Like maybe, you know, and I realized that was like a direct leading by the Lord and yes. with his hand guiding you. Yes. Um, and then what is kind of, I don't know, like it's crazy that you said that because like there's a couple of times I've said things and you have reminded me of my husband's like situation, like what Rashad's going through right. is like parallel of what my husband is going through. Wow. And there's been times, like, I remember you were talking about a times before and I'm like, that is so weird. And then I remember I was like telling him like, that's like my husband. And then I remember a time we were talking and he's like, I was talking about my husband and Rashad's like, yeah, that's crazy. It's kind of like what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Well, the funny thing is, is my husband, I've been talking with him and he feels kind of like, he don't know what to do with himself. His confidence is broken. He's, and so I was like, well, maybe like you could start going back to school in uh, January for that semester and start taking, he wants to do computer classes and different things. And so we just got his financial aid like completed and stuff. He's still kind of questioning, but it's just crazy because to me, it seems like a confirmation yes. even more for him. Like, I'm like, whoa, that is so weird mm -hmm. to hear his testimony. Because it's kind of like confirming everything that's coming together for my husband, too. So yeah, that's right. Because God calls us in vocation as well. And he will allow us, he will position us to work the thing that we love to do. He will start out with the regular little ordinary jobs. But after a while, when we show ourselves faithful in the small things, he starts to move us up closer and closer to that thing that we love. And it's the thing that you love that you'll do your greatest work in because it's in you. It's, it was put in there by God and it'll come easy for you to do it. Ideas will pop in your head straight from God that you could never have come up with on your own. That's what happened to me in cosmetology. He called me to that field and he brought ideas to my mind. It amazed me. So I'm telling you, when God positioned you and positioning yourself to be positioned is part of it. It's like starting the car. First, you got to get in the car. Then you got to stick the ignition in the, the key in the ignition. And then you got to turn that bad boy before the car can go anywhere. So it's every step you take is to position you closer and closer to what God has called you to do. Beautiful. Beautiful. I remember when I asked yeah. the Lord years ago, Lord, do you want me to go to school? If you want me to go to school, let me know. Give me confirmation. I go to early morning prayer and Pastor Cushman, first thing out of his mouth, Pat, have you thought about going back to school? <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. God does direct. He does lead. He does. Yeah, uh, 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 another thing too, I, I think a lot of people, you know, they pray and ask God for things. And I mean, it's biblical too that, you know, without faith, without work, faith is dead. So a lot of people are sitting, you know, I know the Bible says, wait on the Lord, be as a curse, but also it does say work. Right. You got to put the work in as well. So it's like, I think the longer you, I mean, sometimes God, I mean, if God, will, if God, you know, has his hand on your life, I think he's going to guide you in that direction regardless if you're doing anything, but it's just to take a longer time than it would have if you would have just made the, you know, the effort and the do, you know what I mean? That's right. But, um, 
Because uh, if you he, if you if you're his child, he put if he if he have a uh, a if you're destined for something, if he has something for you, you're gonna have it regardless. But I think that a lot of people it, 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 they they get to that place longer because of the choices. Yep. Not that it's it, it's it, it's not bad because sometimes you learn more when you go through you go through a, a longer time. You, you you have a more of a muscle than a person that got it, you know, quickly. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly yeah. what you mean. So, so yeah, it's it's. I'm glad that you know, because I think it, I probably have been here a long time ago, but it's just that God had to mature me first, and He still matured me. I got along with it. Like I'm not perfect, and, and I never will be. But I definitely think that God is going to, you know, continue to work on me and build me up. Right. So I'll be strong, you know, and then that's for everybody else too, right? So. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.